Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what my monthly expenses are here in the UK and how much they are. As someone that has moved from South Africa to the UK, I know that it can be tricky at the start of your move to figure out what your budget needs to be and what you actually need to include in it. So I hope by breaking down and sharing my budget with you, you'll have a better idea of where to start, what expenses you need to include in your budget, and it will also give you an idea of the cost of each expense. This is my personal budget, so obviously it's just a guideline. Your budget will obviously differ depending on your lifestyle, the size of your household, and also where you are actually living. My budget is based on two adults, and we are currently living in Edinburgh, Scotland, in the city center. Now get your spreadsheet or your notepad ready and let's dive into what I spend every month here in the UK. To help keep my budget organized, I break it down into different categories. I'm gonna start with the essentials that every single budget needs and that's your basic living expenses. Currently our monthly rent is £975 and that's for a three bedroom flat in the city centre. We are on the ground floor of a tenement building and we have a shared garden. When you live in the city centre you are going to pay a bit of a premium for your house or flat just because you are paying for the convenience of being super close to everything and obviously there's a higher demand for flats and houses here. One of our monthly utilities that we need to pay is council tax. This is a fee that you pay to the council to pay for things like maintenance, rubbish removal, street lights and here in Scotland, your council tax also includes your water. A property's council tax is calculated based on the value of the property. So not everyone pays the same amount of council tax. We are in council tax band D and we pay £150 per month. The next utility is electricity and gas. We use the same supplier for both of these, so we pay this together. The actual amount does vary depending on whether it's winter time or in the summer months. So our budget for this is between 100 to 150 pounds, depending on the weather. Probably one of the most important expenses is the monthly internet. And we pay 30 pounds for a broadband connection that has unlimited data and the download speed is around 40 megabits per second. I then also budget 10 pounds to buy data for my phone. Also just to mention, we use EE for the internet and phones. For the groceries, I usually budget around 300 pounds per month and I like to do the groceries on a weekly basis. So I usually budget around 75 pounds per week. That will then cover all the food and also any cleaning products that we might need. I mostly use Sainsbury's for my groceries and I do get it delivered to the house so there will usually be a one pound delivery fee as well which is not that bad at all. So those are all the basic living expenses and the next category in my monthly budget is the car. Now you don't necessarily need a car in the UK, it just depends on your situation. We do have a super cheap second hand car. So the car obviously needs to be insured. So we pay 60 pounds per month for the insurance. This was literally the cheapest insurance package we could find. As I mentioned, our car was very cheap. We didn't want to get anything expensive, anything fancy. For us to pay more insurance would not really have made sense because it would have ended up costing more than the actual car's worth. But obviously if your car is worth more, I would definitely recommend getting an insurance package that covers a bit more and that will definitely be more than the 60 pounds per month. For petrol, we also budget 160 pounds per month. So that gives us 40 pounds per week to fill up the car. And my husband does drive to work every single day and it's about 30 minutes one way. So one tank of petrol usually lasts us the week. The living expenses and the car is kind of like those serious expenses. But now we're gonna move on to the fun things that you actually enjoy spending your money on. I think it's a good idea to have a social expenses category in your budget. And obviously one of the things that I include in this category is going out. For going out, I budget 500 pounds per month and that will cover everything from 
dining out for dinner or lunch. It will also include getting takeaways, any trips to the pub or the bar for some drinks or even if we just buy some drinks to have at home. Going out is kind of the only constant expense that I have in the social expense category because the other things that I have in there kind of fluctuate depending on the time of year or the situation that we're in. But I'm going to mention them anyway because I think it's good just to have those items in your budget so that if you know something is coming up that relates to this, you can start budgeting for it in advance. The first of these items that I would include is holidays. It's a lot easier to afford a holiday if you've been saving for a few months. So what I tend to do is when I plan the holiday, I get an overall budget for that and then I'll see how much time we have before we actually go on that holiday and then I'll save up a few months in advance. Other things that I like to include in advance is birthdays, Christmas or any other type of gifts like anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anything like that. If you are moving to the UK from a different country, I would also recommend budgeting for visits from any family members or friends. Obviously when people come and visit, you want to go eat out more, you want to go show them the city, so you'll probably do a bit more spending during that time. The next category is fitness. This category will definitely differ from person to person and it just depends on what you like to do for exercise. Maybe you prefer to just do home exercises and then basically it's free, you don't have to pay for anything. Personally, I do like to have some fitness classes that I go to, it just helps with motivation. So for two fitness classes per week, I pay £40 per month, so it's £5 a class, which is really affordable, I think. I don't actually have a gym membership, but if that is something that you are interested in, it will be around £35 to £50 per month. The next category is probably my favorite one. It was tricky to find a title to group all of these items in, so I just kind of went with the lifestyle category. First up is makeup and toiletries. So obviously this includes things like mascara, lipstick, all the makeup things, but then the toiletry side is also toothpaste, shampoo, soap, anything like that. Another item in this category is clothes slash accessories. So what I do with this is the one month I'll put £50 towards makeup and toiletries and then the next month I'll put that £50 towards the clothes and accessories. The next item in the lifestyle category is home improvements. For anyone that is moving from a different country, I think it's good to have this in your budget because obviously when you make the move there's a lot of stuff that you sell or give away so that you don't have to bring everything over to the UK. That means that there's probably a lot of new things that you need to buy for your house and obviously when you move in you want to cover all the big things first you know like the bed the couch but this item is more for like the smaller things so like extra pillows new duvets any decor that you want to put up around the house so for this I budget £100 per month and then every month I make a list of what's the priority to get for the house this month and after you've done that for a few months you'll actually be surprised how many things you've already bought for your new house. The next one is subscriptions like Netflix or any apps that you need to pay for and I know that sometimes these things are like £5, £10 so you don't necessarily budget for them but if you actually have a few of them, they can add up, so it's still good to include that in your monthly budget. This category is going to be very different for each person, so I don't think it really helps to share my breakdown. The only two things I think most people might have is Netflix and Spotify, and that's £10 per month each. The very last item in my budget is something that is very specific to someone that is moving to another country and that is your visa. If you are moving to the UK with a visa, meaning that you don't have a British passport, you probably already know that it is quite an expensive 
process. Personally, I have a spousal visa, which allows me to work here in the UK, but it only gives me the right to be here for two and a half years. So I know that I'll have to apply for a visa again next year. If you are in the same situation as I am, or maybe you have a working visa, I would definitely recommend already including that in your budget now. I guess in a way this counts as saving because I am putting the money away, but I prefer to look at it as an expense because it's not going towards any investment and I know in the future that's going to be money that I have to spend. So for my visa that I need to apply for next year, I budget a hundred pounds per month. I'm just doing the £100 at the moment because, as I mentioned, I only need to apply for it next year. So when 2022 comes around, I'll then up that amount a little bit. But for the remainder of 2021, I'll just be putting away £100 per month. And that's all my expenses and everything that I spend in a month here in the UK. I really hope this helps you start your own budget. And even if the amounts aren't the same, at least you have an idea of what to include in your budget now. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was informative. If it was, please remember to give it a thumbs up down below. That really, really helps my channel. So I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and then I'll see you in my next video.